design lovers, I'm Ashley Childers, and today I'm sharing my designer tips for creating a cozy home sanctuary. I want you to get ready to transform your living space into peaceful oasises where you can relax and recharge. When designing and decorating our homes, it's so common to first focus on the rooms where we entertain and hang out with friends and family, like the kitchen, living room, and dining room. And sadly, oftentimes we put creating a sanctuary space for ourselves on the back burner. But a revitalizing home sanctuary is one of the most important spaces you can have in your room. It's a space that promotes mental well being and comfort, or even an inspiration and creativity space. And in today's fast paced world, having a place to unwind and feel at peace and inspired is essential for our overall happiness. The first space we're going to talk about today is the bedroom. This is a space so many of us think of when we picture a home sanctuary, and rightfully so. It's the room where we rest and rejuvenate, and it's a space that is essential to our overall well-being. So how can we turn this very important room into a relaxing sanctuary? Let me tell you. First, let's discuss the color palette. I, for one, feel most relaxed in a room with a calming color palette. Some people prefer deeper tones and other people prefer light and airy. The key is to close your eyes and picture yourself in a space that feels serene and restorative. Now, whatever colors come to mind are the colors you want to use in your bedroom sanctuary. Second, make sure that your bedroom's furnishings promote a sense of calmness and well-being. If you've got a hodgepodge of mismatched furniture, or if something is worn out and in disrepair, it can feel a little uneasy. So it's important to address those issues and make a plan to furnish your room with pieces that you love and that align with what you picture as your home sanctuary. But the key is to include window treatments in your bedroom sanctuary as they'll add a layer of calming luxury to your space. Moving on to bedding. This one is essential and a very personal decision. My suggestion is to choose 100% natural fiber sheets that fit your comfort level and accompany those with a coverlet, comforter, or a duvet that coordinates with your personal style. Lastly is to include personalized decorative accents like family mementos, fresh flowers, and a calming candle or diffuser. The next sanctuary space that I want to discuss is the bathroom. This room is essential to our daily routines and if properly designed and decorated, can be a relaxing sanctuary where we begin and end our day. I personally love a spa-like bathroom and made a few adjustments to my bathroom last year to make it feel like a retreat. My suggestions for this very important space would be to again, picture the feeling you want in this room and choose a color palette to use that goes along with that feeling. Just like our bedroom sanctuary, I personally love a calm and relaxing color palette. My must-haves to include in your bathroom sanctuary would be luxuriously soft bath towels, a pretty catch-all or tray on your countertop to corral jewelry and accessories, fresh flowers or branches to bring in nature, and bath soaps and salts and a beautiful candle, of course. Also, if you haven't already done so, install dimmers on the overhead lighting in your bathroom. It's an easy Saturday afternoon DIY and will totally change the space's ambiance. The last space I want to cover, which is often overlooked when we think of creating a home sanctuary, is our inspiration space. This is a room or area in your home dedicated to nurturing your hobbies and creativity. If you love to read, maybe it's a cozy nook in your living room, or maybe painting is your thing and you have a spare bedroom you use as your art studio, or maybe cooking is your love and your kitchen is where 
You want to spend time. The point is to identify the space in your home where you spend time doing what you love. This space is a sanctuary too, and it's important to treat the space as such. So when we're approaching decorating our creative sanctuary, I want you to think about what colors, furnishings, supplies, etc., that you need to make the space welcoming and enjoyable to you. What things do you need to feel most relaxed, most creative, and most fulfilled in your pursuits? I personally have a design studio in my home where I keep all of my art supplies and design samples. The room has a massive window that looks out into the treetops and my work table is right in front of it. I've got everything in that room that I need to feel inspired and creative and for me, that is what a home sanctuary is really all about. Okay friends, I hope this video leaves you feeling inspired to create a home sanctuary for yourself. Remember, your home is what you make of it. So take time to create spaces where you can relax, recharge, and feel inspired. Now, let me know in the comments which sanctuary space you'd like to create for yourself or if there are any other ideas or design questions you have. And if you love all things design, follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and connect with us on Pinterest for all the daily design goodness and to become a part of our design loving community. Lastly, if you want even more designer styling tips and tricks right now, you're going to want to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you. Have fun dreaming up and designing your home sanctuary and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.